Hi everyone, this is Mallory from IMG and I'm gonna show you the Lightning Email Template Builder today. So here in our Pardot app, we have two new tabs. We have Email Templates, which are your Lightning Email Templates, and we also have Email Content. So in order to build a Lightning Email Template with a new drag and drop builder, we'll want to start with Lightning Email Templates. So if I go ahead and add a new Lightning Email Template, I'll call this Pardot example. Um, I want to save it to the correct folder. This is where my subject line will go ultimately. Um, but that's all we need to do in order to save this and get started. So once we save the template, we're going to hit the button up on the top right, Edit in Builder. And this is where the drag and drop functionality starts to come into play. So over here on the left hand side, we have buttons, HTML code, image and rich text. So just to show you what this does, we can add some text up at the top. I like to add a view and browser link up here. We can add an image. And here's where we start to build out the template. So underneath my image, I want a rich text box. Maybe I want a button as well for my call to action. We can add different types of layouts here. So we could do a two column layout underneath my call to action button. Let's say I want an image on the left and some text on the right. And then we'll put in our footer as a rich text column at the bottom. So over here, um, once we have the general structure built, we can click into each section and start editing. So let's say I wanna add a view in browser link. I want to center this so you have your default toolbar. I also want to add in my view in browser merge field or my view online merge field. So this pulls on all of your merge fields from Pardot. So you can go ahead and click other. I'm gonna click the view online for my merge field here. I'm gonna shrink back a little bit just so I can see the insert button. But now I can copy this link or this merge tag, and I can link my view and browser text to the merge tag. So now I have my view and browser link. The next step is going to be inserting an image. So I click on my image icon. So you can see here that you can duplicate, you can move things around or delete. So right now I have no image, so I'm going to click into add image and I'm gonna to go to my Salesforce CMS content editor. So what I'm going to do is add content since I don't have any in here currently, I will go ahead and upload my logo file. And I can add alt text here if I'd like or a title for the image. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save and that will populate right at the top, which is great. Also, you can add background images if you click outside of the template and you click on the style tab here. So you can change the background color. Let's say I wanted something a little more IMG friendly, something orange. And you can also do a background image if you would like, completely up to you. I'm going to zoom back in just a little bit. Now I can personalize this email as you normally would your Pardot email templates. So I can say hi, recipient, first name, and hit enter. Same with your sender tags as you normally would if you wanted to make it very personalized. So you can say best or regards or whatever you'd like and you can say sender um, name and say their full name you could also add their email signature that would pull if you would like next i'm going to click into the button section here's where i can change the button name contact us today you can add merge fields into the button text as well. Once I click out of here, it will change the text within uh, the button. And then we can also add a button link. We can style the button as well. So if we want it to be a different font color, if we, did, if we wanted the button color itself to be kind of that orange color once again, 
we can do that. We can change the button size. We can also change the position of the button. We can also specify the button width so we can choose a percentage of the email that we wanted to cover. Let's say we want 50%. And now it's a larger button than it was before. And you kind of follow suit for the same pattern. So let's say we wanted to put our logo in, in this other box as well, put some text here. We can kind of in this column or this section, we can mess around with the columns a little bit, change the width. We can add additional columns directly here on the spot. I'm going to go back to two, um, but there's a lot of styling and a lot of um, drag and drop functionality here. And let's say this is our footer. We want to you know, give them the option to update their email preferences. I can put in the IMG uh, you know, physical location address. And again, kind of following suit, we want to update the email preferences. We can do other email preference center. Um, we can link the text as well. For the sake of this example, I'm just going to keep moving. Uh, but you would just continue along and build out your email. Go ahead and hit save. And now we're going to go back and actually send it as a list email. So that's where the email content uh, button comes into play. So we have our template. That's something that we can use over and over. We will now go over to email content and hit new. So I'm going to do part of example send. And here's where we select our template. So just as you would in the normal Pardot instance, you would select your template to build out your list email. You can add an internal description here if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And now we have you know our baseline template here. We can, um, if we edit here, we can edit it in the builder. So let me go back really quickly. Edit in Builder. So now we can customize it for this particular email send. So this is just, you know, building your list email as you normally would. And once you're happy with your list email, you would just go ahead and hit save just as we did last with the template. And now we're ready to send. So there's a couple things we want to make sure our subject line is in place. Uh, another piece is going to be the text body. So this is the uh, text version of the template. So just as you would in the old template builder, you do have to sync over the HTML code. It does um, what it normally would do. Sometimes you have to clean up the spacing a little bit if you want it to be a little nicer. Um, but you can go ahead and hit save once you're satisfied with the text version of the email. From there, you can go ahead and uh, you can preview the email. And this is kind of previewing it as that different prospect. So here's my old email address. Um, you can see that it's coming. It says, hi, Mallory, from Mallory. <laughs> um, you can also send test emails. So here in the testing tab, we can send it to a Pardot test list or individual emails. You can also select if it is a marketing email or an operational email here. Operational emails allow you to send emails to those who have opted out if it is strictly non-marketing related. So you can send a test email to yourself. Once everything looks good, you can go ahead and go into the send tab. And this is going to look just like your list email sending. Again, you can choose marketing versus operational here. And this is going to look almost identical to your current uh, list email send within the um, standard app within Pardot. Uh, so we're selecting our campaign up here at the top. We use connected campaigns between Salesforce and Pardot to uh, get this list of campaigns available to us. We can select our tracker domain. Ours is at our default here. We can select our recipient list. We can also calculate the mailable prospects. We can suppress lists as well. Refresh that number. And here are our sender and reply to options. So you have the account owner, the assigned user, general user. You can send from another 
uh, user field in Salesforce that is not the default owner field. Um, so quite a few options here. I will just have it sent from the assigned user. And as we know, we need a backup uh, when we have an assigned user here so in case anyone is unassigned. Same with the reply to user. If you leave this blank, it will just go back uh, to the original sender, but maybe we want to send the replies to a specific user. So I will look for myself. And here are our completion actions. So when someone opens an email, clicks an email, or opts out of the email, we do have the option to insert completion actions as we normally would from the old Pardot email builder. Finally, over on the right hand side, we can choose to send the email now or we can schedule it for a later send date. So you can select your date and your time and you can schedule it. And that is a quick preview into the new Pardot Lightning Email Builder.